and welcome back to another episode of WWE 2K19 My Career and your boy Kaden Azer has won the WWE Championship. This was inspired by one of his favorite legends, Bret Hart, to trick Braun Strowman. We already read that, but you know. He used a similar tactic against Goldberg in 1999. It's actually pretty cool. I actually watched it because I didn't really know the specifics. I forgot about it. I watched it. So it was actually pretty cool. Take a look at that. Looks good, doesn't it? Well, let's be honest. That didn't look very good for me at the Elimination Chamber. Because thanks to Triple H doing everything in his power to hold me down yet again, not only did I have to defeat Braun Strowman, I had to do it in an Elimination Chamber match against five other superstars where I had to enter first with the Monster Among Men. But despite all of that, I overcame the odds and stand here as your new Universal Champion! So, what's next? Well, here we go again. Buzz can't catch a break. I hate to admit it, but what you said is true. I have done everything in my power to keep this moment from happening, and it didn't work. But I wouldn't be where I am if I didn't have a plan B, or C, or D, or E. You see, I have done everything in my power to stop you except for bringing back the most powerful force in sports entertainment. So you've left me with no choice. It's time for plan E. It's time for evolution. Is this the return of evolution? Are you kidding Probably me? Probably the most dominant troops ever. This is it's not Batista good and Rand Yuen. Where's Ric Flair though? I'm disappointed. But Batista and Rand Yuen are returning to take on Buzz and the last time they returned to take on a Triple H's nemesis was Daniel Bryan and they lost. Evolution currently does not have a good track record. Buzz is trapped. Buzz is... Buzz, there's nothing Buzz can do. Buzz, RKO from one. Kill Triple H sent a powerful message now, to Kaden Buzz that he would go to any lengths out to destroy cold. his career. After what Evolution did to Buzz tonight, it might already be destroyed. And now Randy Orton and Batista and Triple H Evolution is back and better than ever. Next week on Monday Night Raw. I can't believe actually Batista and Randy Orton have returned. But, it looks like Triple H honestly did have everything in his books to keep Buzz from being able to celebrate with that championship. He wants that championship off him real quickly. We've been wondering all week how Buzz would respond to Evolution's attack, and it looks like we're about to so find I'm out. I'm have to ask you to stop right there. You think we're playing here? I don't want to have to hurt you. Ah! After the beating he took last week, he'd be better off staying on the bus. Knowing this guy, I don't think that's going to happen. Is Evolution even inside that limo? I don't know, but it looks like Buzz is determined to find out. Triple H in his gear, gear, Jesus Christ! These competitors are squaring And now it looks like Triple H is coming to fight Caden. He's coming to fight Caden. We haven't seen Triple H in action since a long time. And now it looks like he's fighting Caden. Azer, imagine if he hit him with that sledgehammer. Imagine. I think he probably 
would have got knocked unconscious and probably passed out or something. Looks like he had me design that to a bus. Oh my god, Triple H. Now it looks like Triple H picking up Caden, but no. Caden wasn't even prepared for this. Thank god he moved out of the way. I'm honestly just stuck on thinking the consequences if he did not. I mean, he would be dead right now, maybe. He'd probably be unconscious for sure. He's on the defensive here. He needs to create some space. Now Triple H, huge suplex. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear but to looks have like taken too the much offense up to the this point. Traffic was on, but no, but just somehow misses randomly. But it looks like Triple H kicked the Triple H. Look and jumping clothesline. He doesn't get knocked down Triple though. Some reason to worry here. He may have oh to my God! Once again, another hit to Triple H. Looks like Kane's going for something there, but looks like Triple H is able to catch him. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a very Oh my mistake. God! Another my kick to Triple H. Just for close that, but no, caught by Triple and H. His speed Looks like off. Triple H is currently damaging Caden really well. Dodge, kick, kick. Well done. Now what is Caden about to do? Holy crap! Now looks like Caden. This is all on the hard concrete floor, by the way. Now Buzz, Buzz, he's going for it, he's going for it, oh my god, oh my god, that Pele kick, you learned that one from AJ Styles, punch to Triple H, Randy Orton and Batista, Randy Orton and Batista here, evolution is a mystery, what's he about to do, they throw him in the limo, Oh no, Buzz is trapped in there. Wait, this what? is taking things way too far. No, What's Triple H? No, no. We need some medical help oh my God. Wait, to, wait, wait into his face. I can't believe I'm Triple H. H I mean, on the bus. To something like this. God darn. I can't believe they would do that just to knock Kaden out for the moment. I wonder how Kaden's held up in there. That probably would have really hurt him. Hopefully he's not injured and does not miss WrestleMania, the biggest show of the year. There's only two weeks remaining till the show. But it looks like Kanan has no friends to help him. Next week. Welcome to Monday Night Raw, where if you miss the updates on social media throughout the week, we're happy to inform you that Buzz miraculously escaped last week's limo crash without suffering any major injuries. He may not have suffered any serious injuries, but our Universal Champion looks nowhere near 100% after what Evolution did last week. He's in no condition to be out here. He should have just stayed home to recover. I don't think that's in his DNA. Well, then he needs a gene transplant. Now, I'm not out here to make some long speech about everything Triple H has done to me this past year. No. I'm only out here for one thing tonight. Revenge. Evolution. I know you're back there. And I'm not leaving this ring until you come out and face me. And here comes Evolution, Triple H, Batista, and Randy Orton. I haven't seen Batista in so long. I gotta hand it to you, Buzz. You are resilient. I mean, you survived a high-speed limo crash, and the very next week, you're right back out here looking for a fight. But it seems that for all the guts you have, you're a bit lacking in the intelligence department. Because if you haven't noticed, we have a three-on-one advantage, and I think we all know from the last couple of weeks how that's going to turn out. You know, I may be a bit stubborn sometimes, but I'm not stupid. If anything, Triple H, you've taught me that I can't always do everything on my own. So that's why I decided to even the playing field just a little bit it looks like Finn Balor here's Finn Balor looking to help Caden 
We saw Buzz team up with Finn Balor in his battles against Bray Wyatt, and now Finn is here once Finn again Balor. to have his back. Okay, so you have one other guy. Big deal. We still outnumber you. Looks like they're coming to the ring. It's a 2v3. It's AJ Styles. It's AJ, it's AJ Styles. Styles. From Live. What it is, is he AJ doing here? Styles. For backup. The Bullet Club. Now I'd say it's a. Uh, Finn no Balor gated it, AJ. Holy sh crap. They're back. Evolution's backing up. You should know this is far from over. At WWE Fastlane, it will be Evolution versus the three of you. Wow, that is a so, match I never thought we'd holy see. Holy God, yeah, that, that has to be dream probably match if there the ever was one. dream match of the century. Finn Balor, AJ Styles, and Caden, the new Bullet Club versus Triple H, Batista, and Randy Owen. Holy crap. And, God, I, I don't think anyone was expecting that one. Holy crap. There are the three men who will team tonight to take on the reunited Evolution. It's going to be quite the challenge for the new group, the Buzzkills. Did you 